Gurinder came about from a series of consultations that I did with my elders, Narunga elders, back on York Peninsula to share the beauty of Narunga culture with the rest of the world and to do that via making a main stage production based on our creation stories. Our mums told the stories to us. We've kept them and then her legacy, what she left us, is going on stage now. So we was privileged that our mothers passed them on to all of us. But there's a lot of storylines within it and they all entwine with one another, from the sea to the land to the stars. So it's all connected as one, one big web, and that connects all the people to one another. Gurinda has been a process of connection and reconnection, really, for a lot of our family. My cousin Jacob reached out to myself and my family, basically asking, hey, do you want to be involved in a choir? We're going to sing in language. Although I had my immediate family there, I had all my extended family that I had never met before. To learn songs and then go through the meanings, it was really warming and heartfelt. To see this come to life on a stage and being acted out with the dancers and in a different format, yeah, it's a big step. It will benefit all Narunga people and that their culture is still alive because it's not just our stories, it belongs to every Narunga person. Mama said that the storylines belong to everybody. It's educating our children and our children's children. So we're trying to educate our, our children right now, black or white. We come with a unique way of doing it this way, with the puppetry, with the choir, with the, uh, the lighting. But it's beautiful and I love it. I love the show. The dancing was incredible and the stories were amazing. It was really nice to see that, you know, showcasing traditional stories like that was really inspiring. It's really important for us to celebrate and share culture and for Mob to be at the forefront of creating those spaces and that learning. I think shows like this are extremely important, especially for our young ones, just so they can learn a bit more about culture and the land that we're on in a really fun and engaging way. So what we're hoping to achieve with Gurinder is exactly what the elders instructed me to do, really. Share the beauty of Narunga culture. Put Narunga culture on the map. You know, to bring to light some of these stories that are, have been living in the landscape for thousands and thousands of years and have been held and passed on for uh, many, many generations. To be able to uh, impart that kind of knowledge to the broader community to know that you know you become a line you become one in a lineage of generations that are holding on to culture um, which is why we fight for it so hard to get non-indigenous Australia to understand a little bit more about the land that they walk and live on.